pulses paradoxus is the exaggeration of inspiratory fall in pulse volume and in an extreme case the pulse may disappear in inspiration pulses paradoxus totalis the paradox in pulses paradoxus is that the pulse is not well felt when the heart sounds are audible pulses paradoxus was first described by kusmal in 1873 as mentioned by bar j though often considered as a feature of cardiac tamponade pulses paradoxus has been described long back in cases of acute laryngitis it has also been reported rarely in massive pulmonary embolism correction of pulses paradoxus noted in cases of shock with infusion of colloids have been documented in 22 of the 30 cases in which it was noted pulses paradoxus is well described in obstructive airways disease due to wide swings in intrathoracic pressures due to the sheer numbers of obstructive airways disease in the community it will be the commonest cause for pulses paradoxus in a series of 76 patients with asthma pulses paradoxus was noted in 34 those with pulses paradoxus had more severe airways obstruction a minimum of 10 mm of mercury fall in inspiratory blood pressure is taken as significant pulses paradoxus the fall is sometimes expressed as 15 mm paradox 20 mm paradox etc In a patient being monitored in the intensive care unit the respiratory fluctuation can be seen in pulse oximetry tracing if there is an arterial pressure line it is very easy to document the level of paradox when it comes to clinical documentation which is seldom done in such emergency situations these days with the easy availability of bedside echocardiography one has to resort to sphygmomanometry It is important to note that clinical documentation of pulses paradoxus is done during normal respiration and not during deep inspiration and expiration. Considering the emergency situation, it may be better checked in conditions like obstructive airways disease than in cardiac tamponade. Initially, the brachial cuff pressure is inflated above the presumed level of systolic pressure. the cuff is then slowly deflated listening for the korakow sounds the level at which the first korakow sound is heard in expiration is noted as the cuff is deflated further korakow sounds are heard both in inspiration and expiration the difference between these two levels is the paradox the procedure is quite cumbersome and may take 2 to 5 minutes Reverse pulses paradoxus is an expiratory fall in pulse volume the opposite of pulses paradoxus the classical causes of reverse pulses paradoxus described are isorhythmic airway dissociation hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy and intermittent positive pressure ventilation in isorhythmic airway dissociation inspiratory increase in sinus rate results in sinus rhythm dominating over av dissociation while in sinus rhythm there is av synchrony and hence higher pulse volume compared to av dissynchrony in expiration the ecg shows the typical fluctuation in pqrs relationship with nearly identical atrial and ventricular rates in isorhythmic av dissociation inspiratory increase in sinus rate results in sinus rhythm dominating over av dissociation while in sinus rhythm there is av synchrony and hence higher pulse volume compared to av dissynchrony in expiration the ecg shows the typical fluctuation in pqrs relationship with nearly identical atrial and ventricular rates during ippv the swings in intrathoracic pressure is opposite to that of normal breathing hence the inspiratory blood pressure is higher than expiratory blood pressure during the inspiratory phase increased intrathoracic pressure of positive pressure ventilation is transmitted to the aorta 
In addition, there is an increase in the left ventricular stroke volume. The occurrence of reverse pulses paradoxes during IPPV has also been called as respirator paradox. It has been mentioned that respirator paradox after cardiac surgery may delay the early diagnosis of cardiac tamponade. Reverse pulses paradoxes in a patient on IPPV is thought to be a sensitive indicator of hypovolemia. LV and systolic volume as measured by radionuclide imaging is reduced during inspiratory phase of IPPV without significant change in end diastolic volume. This would suggest a reduced LV afterload in inspiratory phase as a mechanism for reverse pulses paradoxes in IPPV.